365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, friend. Welcome. Today is April 3rd, 2022. We're glad that you're here today. For the devotional title, Would You Like to See Jesus? Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, today our prayer is that we want to see Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is found in the book of John, chapter 12, verse 32. And it reads, And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. What should people do when they know they only have a few days to live? Scripture says that six days before his death, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was. It was no secret to anyone that Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha, occupied a very special place in Jesus' heart. And, of course, their love for the Savior was also great. What else could they feel towards the one who had done so much for them? Just a few days before, Lazarus had been resurrected by Jesus after being in the tomb for four days. If you want to read more about this story, see John eleven seventeen. This awakened the deepest gratitude towards Jesus and Mary and Martha, as demonstrated in a dinner held in his honor. However, it also caused the Jewish religious leaders to decide to kill both Lazarus and Jesus. See John chapter 11, verses 45 to 50. In the midst of this charge environment, the Bible records the last week, probably on Tuesday, some Greeks approached Philip, one of the disciples, with the following request, we wish to see Jesus. Some Greeks wanted to see the Savior. When Jesus was born, some wise men came to the east to honor him. Now, in the twilight of his life, some Greeks from the west wanted to see him. Manger and Calvary, Bethlehem and Jerusalem. How to separate what God had united? The interview was granted. We do not have all the details, but we do know that Christ saw in the request of those foreigners a forced taste of the fruit of his sacrifice. The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Glorified? In a matter of days, he would be crucified, and Jesus spoke about glory? What glory could there have been on a cross? The glory of the cross was that the blood that the Son of God shed on it had power to forgive and to save Jews and Greeks, men and women from all corners of the earth and of all ages, just as the prophet had announced, he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Isaiah 53, verse 11. We wish to see Jesus, the Greek said. And what did Jesus respond? Something like this. If you want to see me, I'll be on Mount Calvary, hanging from a cross. And you, would you like to see Jesus? Please join me for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus for your sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. There I find forgiveness for my sins and power to live in a way that glorifies your name. I don't want to miss the sight of that cross for anything in the world. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us today for the devotional. We pray that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and that his presence is with you throughout this day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.